to see one of your baseball games here in New York, and it just about took my breath away. Well, sure, I couldn't tell it was whether it was a battle or a riot. <laughs> well, I never played but one game of baseball in my life that I can remember on, and I don't believe I'll forget that, you see. It was along in the springtime of the year down hum on the farm, and the weather was nice and warm and sunshiny, and boys, they were feeling a little bit kittenish, and they said to me, Uncle, we'd like to have you help us play a game of baseball. And I said, well, I'm getting a little mite old for them kind of pastimes, but I'll help you play one game. I'll be doggone if I don't. <laughs> Well, we got out from the pasture and got the bases and bats put around their places and bucked the drinking water up in the fence corner while we could get a drink when we wanted it. And I happened to look around, and there was the doggiest billy goat I calculate I ever seen in my life. <laughs> you ought to see the boys getting out of the pasture while... I would have got out too, but I got stuck in the fence. Now you ought to see that billy go to get me through that fence. Well, he didn't get me all the way through, because I was halfway through when he got there, but he got the last half through. <laughs> I didn't make any home run, but I was the only fella who had a score of the game. I couldn't see the score, but I had it. Every time I go to sock down, I know just exactly how the game stood. <laughs> I'm going to look around and see what other games you got here in New York. And if you've got anything that can beat a game of baseball with a Billy Goat for a battery, I'll be darned if I don't want to see it. <laughs>